it's got. And what I want to go ahead and just quickly touch on is kind of an interesting idea. And that's if you look back up until not that many years ago at the number one reason that anesthesia got sued. It wasn't only because of chipped teeth, but more importantly, it was because the tube went in the wrong spot, nobody noticed, and your patient never woke up again. So with that in mind, for seemingly countless years, and anesthesia, remember the standard has been, that if you put in a tube, you have to verify that it's in the right spot. And that's not only by listening to breath sounds, listening to their belly, that's great. But more importantly, for countless years in anesthesia, some variation of carbon dioxide is where it's at. Because remember, whether you're a baby or a big person, you inhale oxygen, you exhale CO2. So with it in mind, a couple quick things that I just want to touch on. The first of which involves these things. Remember that these are your color metric, otherwise known as they change colors. And essentially, they're just a piece of litmus paper, meaning that in the presence of acid, they change colors. And remember that when you inhale oxygen, you exhale CO2. CO2, you remember, is an acid. So the idea being that when you hook this thing on the end of the tube, as long as your patient's alive, meaning they're actually producing and exhaling CO2, it's going to change colors. And if it turns gold, gold is good, your tube's in the right spot. And if it turns purple, and your patient turns purple, it's in the bad spot. And remember, they now make them in various sizes, meaning all the way from the smallest of babies to the biggest of big people. And as long as you're alive, they work great. The problem is, do these things work if you're dead? The answer is called not so well, and the rationale is called you're dead. And if you're dead, you're not producing a whole lot of CO2 because you're dead. So that's a huge deal because in the presence of death, this may or may not change colors, even if it's in the right spot. So if you're alive, they work wonderful. If you're not, you have to understand the limitations of your toys. So that's whereas, remember for, again, several years, capnography has come to play. And capnometry, remember, just simply means, capno comes from Greek, meaning smoke, and capnometry is when you look and it just gives you a number. So they have devices that you hook on the end of the tube and it just gives you a number and it says your CO2 is 40. And that's great because your CO2 is 40, your tube's in the trachea. But if it doesn't give you a waveform, that's important because that's like saying the patient's heart rate is 160. What's the rhythm? Well, I don't know. All I know is their heart rate's 160. It could be any variations of rhythms, it's just simply 160. So that's good, but that's why we've gone to some variation of capnography. Smoke with a graph, meaning you not only get the number, but you also get a pretty wave as well. And absolutely, if you've got it, use it. You don't have it, get it. Because this prevents so many bad things when it comes to airway issues with court. So they remember come in various flavors. They make the adult and kid variety, but they also make this exact same idea for babies as well. And what you want to come away with is simple. You remember nothing else. Anesthesia over in the UK, their motto is called no trace, wrong place. Meaning you hook this on the end of a tube and it doesn't give you a pretty waveform. No trace, wrong place. If you hook it on the end of a King Airway, no trace, wrong place. You hook it on the end of an LMA, no trace, wrong place. Or again, on an endotube, I hope you're noticing the trend, no trace, wrong place. So if all you have is the color change, great, feel free to use it. But more and more places happily have gone to some variation of capnometry or even better, capnography. But if you've got a King Airway, an LMA, or an endotube, or an eye gel, doesn't matter. If air is going in and out, you have to verify that it's working. And the way you do that, no trace, wrong place.